Insects are grouped in about 30 different orders. Many orders are distinctive and easily recognizable and reflect familiar broad common names such as beetles, moths, mantises, and wasps. While most orders are large and broadly distributed, one is quite small and is entirely restricted to southern Africa. Meet one of the most little known and strange orders in the world, the heel walkers or the Mantophasmatodea. The order's Latin name, Mantophasmatodea, is derived from the Latin names of two other orders, the Mantidae or the Mantises, and the Phasmatodea or the walking sticks. This refers to how the order is well camouflaged like a walking stick, but also predatory like a mantis. The common name heel walker, on the other hand, refers to a structure on the end of the foot called the aureolium, which is held in the air when walking. This is one of the most distinctive traits of the order. Within southern Africa, Mantophasmatodea are only found in Namibia, Malawi, Tanzania, South Africa, and possibly Angola. The family Osteophasmatidae is restricted to South Africa and is the only family in the country. They are only found in the Western Cape and Northern Cape provinces, particularly close to the coast where there is sufficient rainfall. Within this region, they are widely distributed and diverse. Mantophasmatodea live along a wide range of habitat gradients. They are common in biomes such as the Kuru semi-desert and have been found in the Dune Fimbos botanical region. They prefer to rest on the stems of grasses and bushes and overall do not show a preference for one kind of plant, although they are often observed on the kraubos, a common plant that is poisonous to sheep. Mantophasmatodea are generalist predators that can take nearly any kind of arthropod prey. Analysis of gut contents include high numbers of spiders, ants, and beetles, as well as other Mantophasmatodeans. In the laboratory, they are contented on a diet of fruit flies and crickets. This unscrupulousness allows them to survive even in highly disturbed areas, since as long as there are prey present, they can survive. Almost all are active entirely at night. The Mantophasmatodea are fairly large by insect standards, with most adults being the range of a half inch to an inch and a half long. They are not aggressive to humans and typically shy away from flashlights when surprised in their native habitat. When startled sufficiently, they will drop off the vegetation they are hanging on and then may stay motionless until the threat has passed. The Mantophasmatodea are primarily sit and wait ambush predators. Depending on the size of the prey, they either simply hold the victim in their mouths or use their front and middle legs to grasp the prey while eating. Ingestion is usually rapid and all parts are usually consumed, although market preference for the head was noted in some laboratory specimens. Cannibalism is practiced by all life stages. The order has a unique style of signaling used in mating. Somewhat comparable to cricket chirping, they will drum their abdomen against the substrate. Both sexes do this, but the male drumming patterns are more complicated, probably in order to convey species recognition. Once a mate is found, the male will mount the female and ride on her back for an extended period of time while they mate. Heelwalkers have one generation every year. In South Africa, the eggs will lay dormant for up to eight months during the extended summer dry season. They are stimulated to hatch by the start of winter rains at the end of the dry season. The nymphs will go on to reach maturity over the course of a few months until eventually mating and dying. Mantophasmatodea have incomplete metamorphosis, meaning that the young resemble the adults with no pupil or larval stage. Heelwalkers are very flexible along their body axis, a trait which aids in the grooming of genitalia. One of the most unusual physical traits of the order are their enlarged aureolia, which are structures on the feet. The aureolia are normally held above the ground when walking, but when the insect needs to anchor itself down with some force, it will touch the aureolia to the ground and secrete a sticky, glue-like substance. They can use this to hang from vertical surfaces using only two legs. The Mantophasmatodea are most closely related to an equally strange and rare group of insects, the ice crawlers or Grilloblatodea. This order is restricted to cold, high elevation habitats in western North America and East Asia. Locally, they are present in the Trinity Alps. The two groups are so closely related, some authors think they should be placed in a single order, the Notoptera. Either way, both orders are as close related to such familiar groups as the earwigs, cockroaches, mantises, and walking sticks. The order was rediscovered in 2002 by researchers from the University of Copenhagen in Denmark. The two type specimens were from Namibia and Tanzania. Since the order's rediscovery, species descriptions have been common, and our understanding of the general ecology of the order has vastly increased. Most of the research has been undertaken by foreign scientists, particularly from Europe. The head authority on human insect interactions in South Africa is the Entomological Society of South Africa. The legal guidelines on collecting insects are outlined by the organization. All collectors must be affiliated with an academic institution and be approved for a scientific collecting permit, just like in America. Applications to the permits are often difficult and time-consuming. Within South Africa itself, most entomological research is agriculture-focused, a field which does not include the heelwalkers. Unfortunately, the heelwalker is even less well-known in the public sector, to the point where their existence seems to be largely unknown to the general public. They receive their only major exposure to popular art and by extension culture, and they are featured as the mascot of the International Conference of Entomology in 2008, held in Durban. They are temporarily featured on conference-related paraphernalia, including commemorative stamps and the conference logo. One interesting anthropological correlation involving the heelwalkers is the similarity of their distribution with that of the Khoisan languages. 
Both consist of four disparate groups, one in South Africa, one in East Africa, and two in Namibia. This is attributed to the special climactic patterns of the region, which allows relics to persist locally even while they have gone extinct in the rest of the world. For this reason, the region is considered by some to be a kind of relictual hotspot. Despite their overlapping range, little to no research has been done on the interactions between the Mantophasmatidae and the people of the Khoisan language family. It is possible that the Mantophasmatidae were used as a food source by the Khoisan and may have been featured in myths or rituals. Inquiry into the relationship between the two groups is an unexplored field that could potentially help further knowledge on both groups. One recent study in KwaZulu-Natal took 64 different insect specimens and mapped the distribution of names for each species over the region and by age demographics in people. A total of 213 different names were found for only 64 insects. A similar study in the San people would prove extremely useful in mapping historic interactions with the Mantophasmatidae. The San are well known for the knowledge of bush plants and wildlife, and an ignorance of the order seems unlikely. Despite their apparent exclusion from general South African culture, Mantophasmatidae are locally common near several major population centers, most notably Cape Town. There's a good chance that they are often encountered but simply go unrecognized. Community outreach programs to help spread awareness to people living in South Africa by exposing them to heel walkers and explaining what makes them special and different from other insects. Currently, Mantophasmatodea are un unlisted on the IUCN Red List. This is largely due to the focus of listing on vertebrates, with invertebrate conservation being a relatively recent field. Among invertebrates, they are listed as high priority group for conservation due to their restricted distribution and evolutionary distinctness. Despite their current ecological success, the Mantophasmatidae are still susceptible to sudden extinction due to their extreme localization. The order Mantophasmatidae is currently ignored or undetected by South African society, both in the general public and the scientific community. Anthropological involvement with the order is a largely unexplored field to the point where this presentation may be the first attempt anyone has made to access it. It is important that awareness of the Mantophasmatidae be spread, both for the future of the order and to show the people of South Africa a rare zoological treasure they didn't even know they had.